going on friends what's up gamers welcome to Drillcast 176 man you gotta you gotta practice that before you start doing it 176 <laughs> man i wrote it down Be what do you confident. mean then why are you always like yeah i know act like you... you don't know the last number because because look uh, all right can you not you read see the way my setup is <laughs> i gotta look to one screen to get information from another screen oh my gosh and my microphone is on one screen not on the other and i forgot to move it because i normally forget to move it because i'm just used to having it on that specific side so you know what why don't you just back up why don't you, you just use intro? one screen why don't you how about you intro it then I don't this need to intro it. it. You can just you could just this say the it. number. You can just say the All right. number. <laughs> so as you can hear, Jack is here. Obviously, Hello. hating on everything because he. I don't hate. Shit. Not hating. <laughs> just questioning. <laughs> and we got Juan, Mr. Ace of Spades, joining us. What's up, man? What up? Hi, Juan. Juan Rap. What? <laughs> what? Um. What's new? What's going on with you guys? Nothing. Mm. Nothing. Just hanging out. Just another another week. Yeah. Now. Yeah, 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 pretty much with me. Oh, do you? Yeah. yeah. I was actually, I hang, I hung out with Juan yesterday. That was pretty fun. Yeah. We played, we, a, I guess, we might as well talk about it. We played this board game called Clank. You want to get into that real quick? Yeah, why not? Um. Well, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Do things actually Clank in the game? Uh, yeah. I guess you could say they do. There's like, like a, there's little, I don't know what you call them, but there's like little cubes. Uh, that you put in a bag, uh, and then you kind of shimmy the bag, and that that makes a clanking noise. So yeah, okay, yeah. it fits it's the, the description. It's the same clank you'll get if you play house bingo. Uh, <laughs> house house bingo. Yeah, uh, like you know, you know, you know. We don't. Not everybody had that fancy little rolling, the rolling um, ball. <laughs> yeah, that cool stuff. You know, they have an actual little sack, whatever it is. That they shake up and then they get the little tokens with the, you know. I had a box with a bunch of little pips in it. And then I would just shake the box and grab one out of there. <laughs> I guess it's the same. I never played house bingo. Uh, yeah, I, I I don't remember ever playing. I mean, I know I've, I had it. I just don't remember playing it. I used to play with my aunt. Yeah. You know, I mean, I know. Quarters, thing, but... dimes, nickels. We were doing it all. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> um so yeah clank um i don't even know how to describe it so basically uh, it, it's a board game tabletop game um up to four players basically the 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 goal of the game is to get your player to the bottom so you're in a castle right so there's above ground and underground i guess is the way to describe it so you need to get underground in order to retrieve an artifact and bring the artifact back up into the above ground area so that you can basically win, <laughs> I guess. Sounds pretty um, cool. I like the idea. It's yeah, it's an interesting idea. And I think um, it's so it's a deck building game. I'm not going to go into that. If you're at all interested in how that mechanic works, feel free to just look it up because it's very simple. Um, but the main the main thing is is the dragon attacks so because you're in a dungeon and because you're making noise and the dragon is sleeping every time you pull up a card or so you know some of the cards say like there's a card that's that says uh tattletale right or tattle i think is what it is you basically snitch and or i guess you you snitch on them and then the dragon kinds of kind of finds out so you put in clank you're making noise so another card would be to run faster so you get two movement instead of one uh, but in order to use that you would put up clank so you would make noise and you would have to put that into uh into the bag so like that and basically every time a dragon attacks which is whenever a card comes up with a dragon's uh, icon on it uh you would just shimmy everything in the bag based off of that you would uh based off difficulty rather you would pull out how many uh how many little cubes are are marked on the bag so it, it makes for a for just a, a it, it changes every time the game changes you know every time you play it because there's like mystery tokens in the board that change sometimes you get money sometimes you gain health um and the cool thing about the game is there's two versions there's an easy and a hard side uh to the board itself so um very simple mechanic uh i, I definitely want to uh to do like a write-up or something on this game because i i think it, it should should be a staple 
uh, to where uh, deck building games are. So if anybody who who has played uh, like DC deck building game, for example, is a really popular one um, that has nothing. It, it is it's nothing compared to to Clank. Clank is just so much more like immersive. Um, I don't know. What do you what do you think of it, Juan? I mean, I definitely agree. It's it's more it's beyond the cards, though. The actual concept is to you know collect cards to make the play around that much easier. Um, yeah. But this game provides a challenge that you know easy. It's not really there, especially on you know the flip the hard, side, the harder side, yeah, the, the dark side, <laughs> the, the dark, dark side. Of the side. <laughs> no, um, but in reality, it, it's a it's a great game. Um, you know, you kind of strategize um upon you know your own life yeah am i gonna make it out of this <laughs> yeah so that's a that's a so you have like 10 hit points right and every time you draw a cube you know from the bag you you end up getting hurt the dragon hurts you so the goal is you have to go to the depths you have to go to the underground get an artifact and bring it above ground now as <laughs> that's easier said than done you know because there's a I don't know how many artifacts. There's a few artifacts, and each one has a different point value. So, do you risk it and go further down for more points, or do you just kind of, kind of get to the underground and then just escape? Because once you escape, you trigger like the end game, and at that point, it's just dragon attack after dragon attack after mm-hmm. dragon attack, and that's what kind of gets you. So, you, you have to, like you said, you strategize and kind of pick what you, uh, what you want to, um, what you want to do, um, and then you have. You know, obviously, the people that you're playing with could affect that, right? Like, sometimes they go for a piece that you want, like you're headed in that direction, but then you're like, shit, now that they took it, I have to kind of replan everything. So now you're buying different cards on the board uh, just to, to fi- you know, to fix your strategy. And sometimes that doesn't work, like, like for me <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> No, yeah, that's kind of why I like the game. It's always changing, you it know. Changes. The board doesn't change, sure, but um, the pieces as far as placement do change. Yeah. Um, but it's something that you know it's always changing, and you know, pretty much you could have douchey friends or you could have <laughs> great friends. I'm not seeing us work together, though. I'll tell you that much. That's how greedy we all are. I'm, you I know, I would, I would have thought, yeah, let's work together. I don't let's think not it has much to do with greed. I don't yeah, think it, that this game totally has to do with, with greed. That's the only <laughs> thing it is about. You're trying to get the most highest value, and then once you got the highest value, you want to get the hell out of the damn underground. But that's not what has all, been happening. Fuck everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> that's not what has happened though. The last couple mean? times we played, because the last couple times we played, it's like, okay, we understand the game, right? You go down, you get an item. So we've been like, the last couple times we played it, we got down to the middle and then everybody's just like all right i'm out fuck this like i'm scared you know we've never like i don't think anybody tried to go for the 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 30 the the high value artifact on on this last game i would have but i always end up being first and by being first as you know you You make more noise most of your pieces (laughs) and um you know it it makes me target number one for this motherfucking dragon (laughs) And you know, I'm surprised that I, I I pulled the W yesterday. Yesterday, yeah. Even no, I, was, I died. I was, it was close. You <laughs> died, but it was still pretty close. I died. Every, I actually, died. Did I, I think everybody died, right? That's what yes, happened? we all died. Yeah, everybody. We wiped. <laughs> there was no happy ending in that fucking game. <laughs> yeah, it's that was tough, man. That side is is really tough. Um, but every time I play it, I notice a new card, and I'm like, oh shit, that's cool. Like, so that th- the replayability is is great on it too. So, mm-hmm. uh, definitely shout out to uh, to Clank. Um, go pick it up if you if you're interested in in tabletop gaming. It's one probably one of my favorites right now, uh, which is a a lot because I'm a big fan of uh, Munchkin, like that whole series. Um, and I, you know, the deck building game I thought was for DC. Uh, I thought that was great. I, I love cryptozoic games, um, but this one by far, like as soon as I saw it and as soon as I played it, I was like, "All right, I get it. I like this." Um, yeah, that's it for that. <laughs> <laughs> um, that that's that's my my tabletop recommendation of <laughs> probably of the year. <laughs> We'll oh, see. Actually, know, still, you know what? During packs, yeah, during packs, there's typically a couple of tabletop games that that I like to check out. So we'll 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 see. We'll see what can compete. Um, so what's up, Jack? What have you What have you been playing? Because you've been playing. <laughs> yeah, I've been getting achievements, bro. You're at 
what like 2000 or something like that uh for the month i'm at 2200 2200 exact this man on a mission. crushing he's on a he's on a mission hell yeah you guys don't want it <laughs> that's all i know um what i've been playing though otherwise mm-hmm. let's see oh hold on one second sorry okay <laughs> um i gotta look actually i've been playing a lot of games so we, well, you and i played gears the other day. we played gears man holy did. crap did we play gears <laughs> well, i don't know i don't want to say it like that we didn't play two rounds it wasn't like we, we played, played forever well, it was two games, but each game, I mean, we played fucking, it was competitive. Like the competitive. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, it was okay. It was okay. Well, it was the competitive, uh, the ranked playlist, I guess you can call it, right? Right, right. We were playing execution, trying to get uh, credits for winning an execution match. Is there you what, go. what was the goal of the whole reason why we were yeah. playing? And those are best of uh, nine. Se- nine. <laughs> nine. I was, I was semi Damn. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's best of one. nine. Exactly. Oz was like, oh, we got to play competitive. I'm like, all right. Well, that's just... the only way that you can get the. He was the like, credit. he was like, it's, it's best of seven or something like that. And I'm like, okay, so I got to win five. And then the yeah. match loads and it's like <laughs> nine. And I'm like, are you guys serious right now? Nine, nine rounds. It was crazy. So. Yeah. And yeah. Um, that. That was that was something else, man. Like, no, like seeing how people play. Like, I've been playing Gears. I, I mean, I think since Gears one, I think for the yeah for the both of us, we've been playing like I don't want to say religiously, but we played Gears one quite a bit. Definitely by Gears two, we were playing a lot more. Um, but what I'm trying to get at is the the way people play has evolved to a level that i don't think i can compete with <laughs> i guess there's only that one guy who who uh, luckily was on our team but there's always really that good. one guy <laughs> that i guess one guy. But i mean yeah exactly <laughs> there's always that, that one, one guy, guy. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna call him tog from now on we're gonna talk like, tog <laughs> fucking todd yeah <laughs> um, chilling from nebraska just trying to freaking kill <laughs> everything in sight um, todd i guess but i mean that was the only guy that was really good so you know, I don't. I wouldn't say anybody else was phenomenal at the game. Yeah, but there was so, dude. Some of the moves that this guy was like, you know what it is all the wall bouncing. Like, I'm just not used to that. I know these guys play claw and shit like that. And I'm like, holy fuck! And you just try to gnash for them, and they're like just sliding through your shots, just sliding through. Like, just- I wouldn't even say that, man. Like, people can wall balance, but this guy made some shots that were just ridiculous. You know, he'd be surrounded by like three or four people and they'd be dead in half a second. I was just like, whoa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I haven't seen that before. I've he seen took three people. In. He took three people who are all around him out. Like, how the fuck does that yeah. even happen? Yeah, it was crazy. I mean, and he did Insane. it multiple times. It wasn't like a one, one yeah. off, you know? Yeah. That's what yeah. was impressive. I wish I remember his name. It was like a, a silent or, or something. It's Todd. Like, a silent. It's like Tog. Tog. Yeah. Tog. Tog. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that I, one. Guy. I think you could look through and find who you played against. And this yeah, should be sure. my thing. But I'll yeah, do that later when I'm, when I'm when I'm not talking. Credit. Yeah, <laughs> when I'm not talking, I'll look through and try to find it. Um oh, there it is, recent players. I'll start doing this as I do other things. <laughs> yeah, so anyways, we didn't win either match, right? Yeah. We played, two, we played two, we didn't win either one. It wasn't like we got <laughs> killed, it just didn't really work out. Yeah. Um it was so just like, one guy doing other work. No, yeah, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna play one more, you know? I'm I'm feeling good about it. So I joined up and remember when we I said we were gonna rally, like you and I were in a party chat. And I said we were going to rally. Let, let me go to game chat and get everybody yeah, fired yeah, up. Yeah. Yep. It didn't work out. We ended up losing that round. <laughs> we lost that round so fast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we literally spawned in and just fucking died. It was great. Yeah. Uh, so then, like, I, I kept the same mentality, though, going into the, the next match. Yeah. You know, the one that was by myself. So I got on the mic. I'm like, are you guys ready to win? You know, no one said anything. But I'm like, I know they can hear me. That's what I'm thinking of myself. Like, I know these guys can hear me. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, um. And, you know, so I'm like, you guys are going to be so tired of winning by the time we're done with this, you know, that you're going to be like, please show 220. I don't want to win no more. I can't <laughs> win. It's too much. So I just kept saying that. And then um, it, there was like the second or third round that, that we were in. And it was 2v2 or 2v1, something like that. You know what yeah. I mean? I was one of the last people left. And then we're on Blood Drive, by the way. So I think everybody who's uh, played yeah. Gears knows Blood Drive. The map and is horrible. It's not bad, but I mean, you have your two sides. You know what I mean? So yeah, I meant they're, the spawns they're, are horrible. But yeah, uh, I mean, you spawn in the top thing. How's it bad? Because you could, whatever, just go. Yeah, it's fine. But I mean, when you play Execution, you only have one life. It's not like you can spawn. Oh, kill. yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah you You're can't right camp spawn anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, 
Anyway, so they go to their side, like their tower. And then I think it was 2v2. And their guy, or one, my guy, my teammate, takes out one of one of theirs. But then he gets killed, like, right after that. So now it's, it's, one, on, it's one on one. And I'm like, I'm not going to run over there. This guy's a sniper. Like, I'm not going to run over there and try to be a hero. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm chilling. I, I go back into my thing, my base. I, I pick up the incendiary grenades, fire grenades. And I just plant one on the wall. You know what I mean? No big yeah. deal. Like, it, you know. And I'm like, all right, here's Just watching back. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, sniper room. Now I'm gonna go like all the way up to the top of my base and just hang out. You know what I mean? Yeah. And we're chilling. All of a sudden, I hear do do do, and he gets blowing up, and I just <laughs> die. I just start <laughs> laughing. And then this guy on my team messages me like, "You didn't do anything. You know, you you boy, you noob or something." Because I'm laughing, I'm dying yeah. that this guy died on a grenade, and I'm just losing it. <laughs> anyway, so I I won one of the rounds, right? Yeah. And then another next next round comes up, and. Uh, it's it's again me and some sniper oh, again, and I, but I'm I'm on their base and I'm waiting for grenades to spawn. They're not spawning, so I'm like we're just waiting to, for time to run out, whatever. And the guy ends up rushing me with like ten seconds left, yeah. and well, you know, Nashry battle. I miss a shot. The next one he downs me, and he goes to like like rape my face or whatever. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? He walks up to me, but when he does that, the time expires, and so we get a stalemate. Oh, what an I idiot. was dying again. I oh was laughing God. again. Was that, that the same guy so from the, I don't know. The fire? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't I don't think it was. That, I was dude, his teammate must have been or his oh, team must have I was been so laughing. pissed. So I'm like, you guys I just keep saying it too. I'm like, guys, how's it feel to be winners? Like, oh we do is win. <laughs> and it was like it's like three to one or whatever, you know? <laughs> yeah. And then there's this other one. Okay, no, same thing. It's me. It's two v two v one. So me and my teammate, and one they have one one teammate left, right? Their teammate goes up to their spawn and is hiding behind the pillars. And I'm like, I know better than to run in there. Like, if we both run in there, there's a really good chance the other guy is going to get double kill and we're losing the round. Like, I've, yeah. I've played this too many times. Like, I've done it. You know what I mean? <laughs> I've been in this scenario. <laughs> yeah, I've done it many times. <laughs> I've lived so, by like, it. Yeah. So, um, like the my other teammate, he's kind of like he's trying to like go in but not go in, you know. And then anyway, he gets killed. I'm like, well, you're an idiot. Like obviously that was gonna happen. <laughs> the guy has the advantage, you know what yeah. I mean? And then he and then like the their guy comes out, and I move back a little bit, kind of behind the wall on the stairs, so I can see him coming out. You know what I'm talking about? You're yeah. Kinda yeah. Across there. You, yeah. Yeah. So I can see him coming out, and he comes up and he takes cover. I don't know if he sees me or not, and I just gnash him, and he gets down, and I kill him. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I we went, and then the guy the guy message the guy who died sends me a message. He's like, he's like, oh MFG, you didn't back me up. He was like fifty damage or something. And I was oh, like, wow. I he was all caps too. And all I wrote, <laughs> I, re- I replied with, he died. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that guy blocked me, and the other guy blocked me. They both blocked me, and I didn't even say anything bad. Like I was just like, you know, I told the other guy that got mad about me not going in or whatever. <laughs> then I killed the guy with the grenade. Yeah. You know. I was like, I, all I did, I replied, I'm like, dude, Gears is all about strategy. And he was like, oh, kill yourself, noob, or something like that. Yeah. And I'm like, whatever. And that guy quit. He didn't even get the W. He quit. Oh, what an idiot. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's... So that was fun. But I won. I got my got my thing. So, Dude. So I was I playing. Was happy. I, was, I was playing the. Uh, my the teammates same... me. I don't know why the teammates me, though. <laughs> all I did was motivate. <laughs> I'm yeah, you motivate them, them and then he just and I won went three idle for out a bit. of the five rounds required for us to actually win or whatever. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? It was yeah. all me. I can't say it's not. So, so similar story. I uh, we were, I forgot the map. It's the one with the the helicopter in the middle that's like broken. Raven down. Yeah. So whatever. At that, least that's uh, is that on Gears Four? Are you are you talking I, Gears Four? Or are you talking the Gears another time? No, Gears Four. I don't know. It's Raven down on. It must be a different one. Yeah, it's, so it was. It, I don't, I don't know which one it is. Whatever. There, there's like a buzz saw on the bottom, like in the. Anyway. Oh. The two oh, sniper. There's two snipers right about. off the jump. Yeah, yeah I know what yeah. you're talking about. It, it start, you kind of start up top, and then you go yeah, down yeah, to yeah, the yeah, middle you, if yep. you want, and then there's a little shotgun battle area. Or yep. yeah, okay, okay. It's yep. not Raven Down. Um, oh. I don't. Raven Down's from like Gears Three or Two or something. But you know how that um that sniper like there there's a sniper that spawns up on either side like you pick that up and real quick you bust out a shot yep, you you, yep, you could yep. probably pop somebody so I was playing that right ranked uh, I think we were playing TDM I'm not sure if it was right it might have been core anyways regardless yeah it was TDM so one v three me versus or sorry one v four 
I take out three of their dudes, man. And, I, and this is like the last round. Like you, you either win and you, you win the whole thing or you lose and you lose the whole thing. Like it was over. Yeah. There's no next round, right? Dude, I take three guys out and they're all scattered, like trying to find me and stuff. And same thing. I kind of played it slow, right? Mm-hmm. I take out uh, three three dudes that were basically um, like kind of finding, like looking for me. And I see that there's a sniper like looking out the window and stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh man, this dude's going to pop me. Like, this is going to suck. So anyways, I kind of break them all up. I take one out with a grenade. I take two out with a Nasher. And it's just me and the sniper. And I see him and I'm trying to flank. I'm throwing, na- I'm throwing smokes, like just trying to fr- like live, you know? <laughs> yeah. There's like... Basically, I want to say like a minute left. That is when the timer kicks in, right? So I run past my sniper and I'm like, fuck. Like, if I pick this up, he's going to pop me. If he knows that I'm here, he's going to pop me. Whatever. Turns out he's not there. I pick it up. I run to their base. He's hiding like in the back, like like spawn, right? Mm-hmm. Sniper battle. We just go off on each other for like a good, like basically the last 30 seconds. With like five seconds left, I fucking pop his melon, right? Yeah. I get a message from, <laughs> <laughs> but from my teammate. I can't say what it says because he. Well, uh, he says my ninja with the yeah. clapping emoji. First off, I didn't even know that you can have clapping emojis. I on didn't know thing. either. Yeah, I'm assuming he sent it from a uh, smart glass or whatever because I guess from his phone you can do uh, emojis. <laughs> so I just said, I replied back. I'm like, I got you, fam. <laughs> like, it, was, it was the funniest fucking message I ever got. Like the guy was like, holy crap. Like. I can only imagine he must have lost his shit when yeah. uh, those last 30 seconds, because it's literally five seconds left. I see the timer. I'm like, oh, God, I'm like entire health is like gone, you know? Yeah. Like both of us like hit each other with actives, but didn't go down. Like it was one of the craziest sniper battles ever right at the end. I was like, oh, thank God. Um, but yeah, no, man, there, there's so many moments in Gears that that made me realize just how much I love this game. I was telling Juan yesterday, I was like, there, there are just way too many moments like that. Uh, but there are also moments that are completely opposite that make you hate the game. <laughs> yeah. Because had I lost that cyber battle, I'd be like, man, fuck this game. <laughs> you know, I would have never gotten the message. I would have never been able to fucking talk about it. Like, there's so many moments like that. Though. I'll see if I can get the clip. I know I recorded the the final uh, kill, uh, yeah. but it was, it was so fucking fun. I, I love that game, dude. It was a good game. Um, I feel like we talk about it every week, but that's just how good, that's how much I, I mean, like it. Yeah, I guess. I mean... I don't, I don't know. I mean, yeah, Gears is great. I like Gears. But, <laughs> you know, it's a good one. So, uh, Halo Wars 2, Blitz Beta. Yeah, we tried to play that. Or I tried to play it. <laughs> I got to play it. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get to play it. <laughs> what happened? I don't know, dude. Just every time I try to load the game, I got a black screen. Like, the, the all the HUD would be there. You know, all the overlays would be there. The sound would be on. But there's no, like, map or units or any you know what i mean there's it was a black screen i took a screenshot um it's on xbox live i'll have to send it to you yeah but um but yeah yeah i don't i don't know you tell me it's a it's a work in progress a work in progress bro work in progress it's a beta yeah 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 i don't know what the hell happened man but we ended up so i i you know it's a it's a multiplayer beta i invite uh i invite jack and i'm like all right let's let's you know let's play 2v2 like <laughs> he was already having issues because I think you got the problem straight up on the um in the tutorial I had the same in the issue. tutorial yeah. yeah yeah so I'm just like all right man like uh, you know forget it like it's you don't really need it <laughs> you don't need the the tutorial <laughs> right you're right I was like you know we'll see if the other like the actual game works so we go into a uh, we go into a two v two and sure enough his uh your game your game messes up again. Yeah. Black screen. Here I am. One yep. v two. <laughs> yeah, you're getting killed. Like I can and, see the the map. You know what I mean? And it was just, <laughs> it was all your guys went up to the their base, and it was just like, oh, your guys disappear, disappear, disappear. I called disappear, a couple disappear. guys to the to to capture a base, and then I just got taken out. And I was like, you know what? This is pointless. You're not gonna be here to yep. help me. I'm quitting. <laughs> yeah, and we both uh, so, we both quit. Well, okay. So to be fair, I played Halo Wars the first one, right? Yeah. And you you did not correct correct okay so Halo Halo Wars uh the first one amazing I thought it was RTS done right for consoles I think I, I've even quoted that when I talked about it whenever it was well, ages ago yeah. um but the Blitz mode with the, all the cards and shit 
I didn't no thank you I dislike I don't know what it is actually I know exactly what it is <laughs> everybody's going to this cards format and it's just basically a way to get you to buy bullshit crates um, which I guess I should also go back and say fuck you Gears of War for not getting me my, my luchador championship it's, title belt it's not it's not them not getting it you didn't uh, get it no I, I, I you didn't opened, get it I opened many many a crates um, a few crates. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I did not get anything. I- I'm really upset. Really upset. Didn't get it. Sorry. Let's just say I uh, I bought <clears throat> a few. Uh, I'm sure you did. Yeah, I got two packs. It's you got bucks. two packs of Shakur. Two packs of Shakurs and no bueno. So yeah, I'm real upset, man. They got me. They they got me to even bust it out and fucking pay for it, man. And still, nothing. and you still didn't get it. Sad face. So I'm a little upset, but it's okay. Anyways, uh, but yeah, that's gonna be the the freaking model going forward, man. I I I fear. I fear for 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 gaming. Yeah. I fear because that's. I mean, obviously, Gears is doing it. They got me good too, man. Assholes. But yeah, this whole Halo Wars Blitz thing, like. They're going to start selling these packs. People are going to buy them. And it just completely takes away from the, the entire game. Oh, uh, in, in a way, right? Because obviously you might not get what you want. Like pay for expensive right, that's what sucks. high-end cards. It, is that it's like, hey, the guys, I'd probably like, I'm sure you would give them five bucks. Just be like, let me get it. You know what I mean? I just want the guy. Yeah. Yeah. I if yeah. I would, if that was an option, I would have probably have done it. Yeah. So would a whole bunch of other people, but I would have probably have done it. Instead, you wasted like a week playing and money on top of that. And still I would say wasted. I mean, I enjoy the game. Like I said, it's a great game. It's just I, all of those points that I put up on getting these crates, I could have put towards Horde, and I would have beefed up all of my right, 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 all of my things. Like, dude, put it this way: it got so serious, I sold like everything that I had, like all of my my uh, my XP. Like, I don't care about experience in this game. Let's be real. Don't care. Yeah. You know, all that matters is the credits. I sold all of my cards and I crafted like 30 verse, like core verses, because that's all I play is core verses mm-hmm. uh, cards. And each win gave me um, 150 credits. So, you know, each game, each time I won, uh, in theory, I would get about 300 credits, you know, so right. close enough to to the 400 to to be able to buy a crate so that i mean why not that's just what i'm gonna end up doing i don't care about the experience so get rid of all of those yeah, yeah. yeah might as well but yeah that's that's my that's my take on on halo wars 2 man don't like yeah at least i, I don't I like mean, that I mode it because it didn't work yeah. i don't like that mode i don't know if the if they're i didn't play the first beta that they they released you know mm-hmm. so i don't know if it's if it's at all similar to the first version but according to this the the current one based off of the current one i don't like it um i'll pass 100 percent pass yeah um what else uh this one 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 i think has some experience. actually you do too both you guys have experience in playing what NBA 2K17, the Prelude. Oh yeah. Oh, did you play it? I did. Yeah. yeah. You got your full thousand there. Got my got my easy one k. Yeah. See, that's that's hacks, bro. Yeah. He, I, mean, I, was <laughs> like, I was like, I should have like, you know Yeah, I know. I was like, you know what? Let me see if I was. I'm like, oh, he, he already has it. Oh, I had that I shit. I just started I laughing again. One, I started laughing again. Ooh, uh, you got yourself great. a nice little booster there, man. That's yeah. Fucked up. Free one okay. k, bro. <laughs> that was the quickest one k of my life. I don't know. No, it's not the quickest. Oh no, no, no. Ava- not Avatar. What was it? Yeah, Avatar. Was it? Yeah, Avatar was. Avatar is definitely, but I mean, it, it's sweet. I was probably, let me like, I probably played for an hour and a half or so. I played for a while. What, Prelude? Yeah. That got me mad, yo. Oh, actually, I played for two hours and 48 minutes. Almost three. Wow. Almost three hours. Yeah. Avatar was 10 minutes. <laughs> oh, less than that. It was like booted up. Do a combo. I think it took, I think it took longer to boot up than it did to get all the achievements. <laughs> That's so true. Yeah. <laughs> um, but no, I actually really liked it. Um, I, it's the first basketball game I played, and who knows how long. You know, oh, God. A while. Oh, God. What? You know what? No, I don't. Uh, may I say respect? Respect what? 
Oh God! He, now you don't. You act like you don't know what. I'm oh you, about. no! You, I know what you're talking about now. You talking about Scotty Pippen and Slam City? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, but I'm saying this is the first. The Prelude was the first basketball game I played in a long time. But Slam City wasn't the last one I played. That's that's. I don't know that's NBA stretching. Jam. That's stretching. No, I think the last one I really played was NBA Live '06. That's probably the last one I really played. Huh, it's not bad. Yeah, I huh. guess. I don't play sports games. It was only 11 years ago. <laughs> it was 12 years ago because it was November 2005. That's when Xbox 360 came out. Um, but what I really liked about Prelude or probably 2K17 in general is um, I felt like they really captured what it feels like to play basketball in a video game. And I, I was surprised by that because usually... Like, I stopped playing basketball. I would try them, like, the demos and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I stopped playing them because they're always, like, super technical. And it was, like, there's too many little things to think about or do. And it's just not fun. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then I played the prelude and it was kind of like, hey, this this is what... Is what playing basketball feels like. Like you want to make sure you guard your man, and you you you're focused on that one guy. You know, you you play your position, you do what you're supposed to do. It's like this is what he does. Yeah. No, no, no. That, that that that's what that's how I played it. No, yeah. I'm just saying. On yeah, anyways, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, so I'm saying like I actually <laughs> felt like I was playing a game of mentally playing a game of basketball. Physically, I felt like I was just sitting on the couch. <laughs> but <laughs> but mentally, losing his press. <gasps> yeah. <of> course. <laughs> 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 losing my breath in between eating Doritos, you know. What I mean? <laughs> um, but no, you, you got, I got that feeling. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, Let's just say the prelude was way more fun than the actual game for me. Right. I mean, Ooh, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if I want to play <laughs> for basketball me. all the time. I had, I had fun playing the prelude. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. Why I did, did not have fun playing the fucking actual game. <laughs> Why? I, don't, I, I already talked about it. It's too much of a sim. Oh, but how's it? It's the same gameplay as Prelude. No, nah, it's not. How is it different? Can, Juan, can you like back me up on this that it's not the same? I I'm trying to get the exact details of it. What Before. do you mean? Not the same from the, what the Prelude was? Yeah. Yeah, he Oz is saying that the gameplay in the full version of 2K17 is the different the gameplay is from the same. The prelude. But it's more challenging up. he's trying yeah. to say it's it's just more challenging your guy in in the prelude is like because he's shit. playing against high school kids he's playing he, like, exactly. you gotta think about it oh, he know, was all right. I, I understand he that. was all I right i wanted to slap him a couple times but couple yeah times. He, he's all right yeah but you want to slap him a couple times if you play in if you play 2k 17 like afterwards then you would just want to murder the guy if you wanted to slap him because yeah. he's just like a limp noodle <laughs> Mm. Like he's the worst. <laughs> like you throw shots that you know you hit on the prelude, yeah, and you one hundred percent don't hit them on thing. That on sucks. The actual game. It's it's. Does your it. guy does your guy carry over? Uh, I believe so. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Actually, uh, Juan. Yeah, it is. Juan, it does. Juan but can... you have a choice to. I'm um, think. Yeah, you you do carry him over. That's cool. You have a choice to not have him though, but why not? You right. know, you, you did the prelude. Um, I was a, I don't know, I don't know what Ozzy's really getting at. It's because I've played him beforehand, so you know, I don't really feel the same effect they had as far as like you know it changing. They made it challenging. I mean, you know, it's hard. You you got to do a bunch of things that you didn't you have gotta to do in the prelude. Level up. I mean, you, you're yeah, talking you about up. somebody who plays Pokemon and such, so, uh, you know, I'm like, yes, I gotta train to be the best. You, you know? train. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. No, yeah, but th- that's what you have to do, and it could get rather tedious for you, so Which I understand. Which is a simulator, like, I, yeah, like I've been saying. <laughs> um, well, in Prelude, they capture what, what I felt like it should feel like to play basketball in a video game. How about that? Yeah, no, I, I agree. I, yeah. I liked it. Yeah. <laughs> That's why yeah. I liked it. Yeah. Uh, what else? Uh, by the way, that guy's name is Admirable. Admirable. Ad- that's what it yeah. was. But he spells it Admirable. Admirable. So it's, it's, it's it's not really Admirable. Yeah. There's an E in there. He has an E in there. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Anyways, trust that guy. He's he's a boss. Here. <laughs> yeah. Shout out. He only has um 65 gamer score in gears. Um, okay. I mean, I he just didn't it. play the campaign. I I guess. 
he just played multiplayer and just decided to stick with it, which he I don't blame him. Played- for four days, nine hours, and 33 minutes. <laughs> Holy shit. He has 120 ranked match wins. Oh, good for him, man. Well deserved. Yeah. yeah. I'm just looking at this thing real quick. Um, what else? I don't know. Let's play some other games. I don't think anything really noteworthy, though. So, all right. Halo, Master Chief Collection, Mirror's Edge. Wait, did I do Mirror's Edge last week? I think I did. Yeah. Mirror's talked Edge. About, you talked about both of those last week. Oh, oh Mirror's okay. Edge. I, I, played, I played more Halo, though, like this week um, to get more achievements. And then Monopoly deal I just started today, <laughs> and I like it. Dude's going in. I like going it. In, Dude, I got so many games. I could play like five games a day for the, the rest of the year, and I still have games left. To play. You still have left. Yeah, I feel yeah. You. That's how many um, games I have. I'm, I just want to point out, Rocket League achievements are broken. Mm-hmm. That's not my problem. Yeah, no, and it sucks because I I know I could like 100 percent this game, and I've been wanting to for a while. Yeah. Um, I was on uh, X360A just trying to figure out like what the hell, uh, how to fix it, and they're like, "Oh, just load a second profile." And I'm like, "I don't want to do that." And I like just connect the second controller. Tried that, still doesn't work. And I'm just like, "This is so pointless." Like, I don't know what to do anymore. Like, they're just broken. They're, like clear clash, and I'm like, uh, it's, "It's just broken." That's like that frizzy game I played, that arcade title. Yeah, I remember you talking. About yeah, that. It's, it's the just last broken. achievement is broken. They they said they were gonna patch it. They never patched it. I don't just, think they were gonna patch it. And it sucks because like I have the whole game complete, and that's what the achievement is. It's like, hey, get all the little things, and I have all the little things. So yeah. it's kind of sucks. Badness. And that's like 100 <laughs> points or 150 points or something too. It's a lot. Yeah, it's the worst. So I, I hate that I can't 100 percent my favorite game. Yeah. Um, and they would get on it. You think Rocket League people would, would be on So I don't know what it. I'm hoping that by the next title update, that it just kind of pushes it out to to work. Because basically, the the achievement is uh, to play the Rumble mode, which I don't know if you remember. It just turns the game into Mario Kart essentially. Like you get items that kind of do things, and it's a specific playlist. And once you you have to activate all of the the things, all of the um the what's it called. You have to activate all of the items uh, in one match. And I did it on a private game. I did it in a public game. I did it, you know, in a... Like, all kinds uh, of games. Yeah, just like two controllers, like, connected and nothing. So it, it just doesn't work. You know, I've come to the conclusion, it just doesn't work. Yeah. Um, but then that got me thinking, and not only that, but you, you calling me out on um, not wanting... Uh, not not getting any points on the board made me play uh, Party Hard. Okay. Because uh, I have it on console. I've had it forever, but I've never played it because I already beat it on um, what's it called? PC. On PC, yeah. So I'm just like, you know what? Let me just kind of steamroll through this and I can get the full thousand not realizing like this game is fucking hard. <laughs> yeah. Like it is really hard. Like really like trying yeah, to rush it does yeah, not work. Hard. Yeah, you have it here. Trying to rush this game does not work. Like, I, I mean, I get to skip the cutscenes because I already know like what happens and whatnot. But yeah. it takes time, man. Like, there's a you know, each level has about like 50, 60, up to eighty people in it, and yeah. trying to be sneaky about doing you know what you got to do to these people is <laughs> no easy task. <laughs> and then you got to worry about police showing up. You got to worry about yeah. like all sorts of things. And I'm just like, holy fuck! Like this is this is gonna take me a lot longer than i thought um uh, but that's definitely on the list i'm i'm 100 going to uh to to go in on that on that game this guy playing snap attack what's that uh wordament have you ever played wordament wordament yeah now it's called snap attack no no no. there's, there's two versions so now oh, okay. um snap attack basic yeah i just found it too it basically uh same style same wordament style but instead of playing whatever words you want there's like a there's words already on the board like letters tiles mm-hmm. and you just use your words with in conjunction in conjunction with those to make other words mm. so very crossword like uh but still same game got it did you play sea of thieves uh i did not i i wasn't uh-huh. able to i know juan did but there's nda on that so oh there is yeah yeah. Can't get into that this time around. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, but yeah, we'll. I mean, we'll save that for another time. That's no big deal. Um, what else? I know you wanted to. 
Yeah, talk about your uh, thing. That oh, you... Raspberry Pi. Uh, actually, before we go into that, Juan, did you have anything else that you wanted to add? Or no, no, I'm good. Dude. I'm good. So, <clears throat> so I've been holding off on this, right? Because I don't know. I don't know I... what you're doing over there. <laughs> Well, I got a couple questions for you, but that'll come in afterwards. So basically right now, my Raspberry Pi, the only reason I got it was because I wanted to play. So I, I, I was on Reddit and I found out that you can get this thing called Raspy Pass. So basically what that does is it turns your Raspberry Pi into a like a hub for uh, for your 3DS. So there's certain hubs. There's a I forgot what it's called. I think it's called Me Rally. And there's like designated areas where if you go and you bring your 3DS, you can get um, like you deliver. How do I explain it? You leave your profile there. So like it detects that you're there and people other like other people in other areas who visit the same like uh, street pass rally pass. I don't know what the hell it's called, uh, but the other people that visit this area pick up on your profile and it's like you visited them. I don't know if that makes sense. Like, yeah. So, cause you know, you know, you know the thing that I'm talking about when you like, when you go to packs and you collect the people and shit like that. Right. Right. So basically what this does is it emulates like that entire thing and people just start showing up. So that's basically what it is. So my house is basically a hub for that, for, for, for that. <laughs> so I'm basically collecting people, uh, like nine at a time or something like that, which I don't know, it just makes those mini games a little more fun and you get the collectibles and all that other stuff because th- there's times you just don't see anybody. Like nobody carries their fucking 3DS around, you know? Yeah. So it just so. makes it a little more convenient to do so. Um, so that's so, why I have not on. installed uh, the thing that you, RetroPie, that you Question. wanted me to. Yeah. Does it generate random fake people or? Just, no, these are real people. So like if I install a Raspberry Pass here, yeah. it's going to add me to like the server a or list. whatever. Yep. And then my, your Raspberry Pass may download me. Yep. Okay. You make a hub essentially is what it is and it's just a collection i don't know i don't really don't know how it works no clue somebody made it i was reading on it and i was like you know what? this is kind of cool i want to tr- try this out so that's the only reason why the raspberry pi came into to my life uh because yeah. i really want to check that out but then obviously you know i got interested in other things like retro pie and like old school stuff old school gaming i mean it has the capabilities of doing so but um what I want to ask you is, how do you organize your SD cards? Like, I know you said you've been working on a few different projects on Raspberry Pi. So how does that, like, what do you, do you label them somehow? Like, I only have two. Oh, well, now I, have I guess three. that's easy. <laughs> yeah, now I have three. But um, no, I don't know. You just kind of know. Because I, right? I have a lot of SD cards. I See, I don't, because I don't have silly phones like you do <laughs> that, that need an SD card, you know? Well, my phone doesn't take an SD card, but what I'm trying to oh. get at is, at one point, I, I mean, and based off of where I work, I just come, I have a bunch. <laughs> yeah. That's that's it. Um, yeah. So I'm just no, trying to I, figure out, like, how to, or, like, what can I do to organize them is, I guess, I my know. thing. I think all mine are different, though, too, so it makes it easy to kind oh, of remember, yeah. like, hey, this 8 gig all black one is my dev environment hey the lex lexer 16 gig black and blue and white one or whatever it is is like games and then i think my new one's red or something like that and it just happened to be different it's not like i planned it to be different you know okay. yeah so, that works yeah so i just got to figure out a way because obviously if i if i take uh if i stop doing the hub thing which i haven't even been using um okay, so you should just stop doing it all that much <laughs> yeah all that much i and i, I really want to test our uh retro pie but i'm just trying to figure out like how am i going to organize this i'm sure all your sd cards are different most of them are different you know mm, they look the same like they're all the same brand the same size same like, brand same size not all of them but the majority of them so basically i, I guess i'll just well, have to kind a, of figure use it out a different one yeah yeah i'll just have to kind of come or, up with my own little sorting system uh, i was just gonna get a piece of tape <laughs> Yeah. Just tape them somewhere. That actually might be a good idea to leave the tape on there, though. Um, well, I don't know. So Raspberry Pi 3, it's a little different. It's not like um on the older model. You have to yeah. you kind of like press it in like you would a normal slot, you know, so you put it and it like clicks. Mm-hmm. It's like a little spring click and then you press it again and it 
kind of pops out a little bit and you have to pull it out the rest of the way mm. um but with the case on it took me forever to get the stupid sd card <laughs> out like yeah. it just wasn't happening because as micro sd cards they don't have much of a lip anyway to like pull. yeah and it's, the, it's the case very small yeah i know and the, yeah and the, and the case blocks like raspberry pi case blocks the top of the card so you can't grab it with your fingers so you have to like use try to use your nail yeah oh man i had to take the case apart it was a whole thing <laughs> That's it was the whole thing yeah so um if you do use tape maybe leave the tape on the end of it so because the new one is not spring loaded it's just like it, it it's just tension it's just yeah, tension yeah, yeah. yeah so you could just pull it and it should come right out yeah i guess i'm gonna have to i don't know i gotta figure figure that out i don't know how I, there's like these um i don't know what they're called like little pull tabs that you yeah. put on the side of uh of like books when you're taking notes yeah i don't know what books and notes are <laughs> yeah. I think I'm gonna I think I'm just gonna buy like a little pack of those and just use that. I would uh I would get gaff I mean, tape. I'd get some gaff tape. If you could I find a small many. roll of gaff tape, because gaff tape is kind of expensive, but it's mm. gonna one is gonna be strong enough. Two, they make it in multiple one. different colors. Yeah. yeah. It comes in multiple different colors. So and then that you way you can kinda it. label it and yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I don't know, I gotta figure it out, but Or just get I don't a marker. Wanna, I'm keep going back and forth. Yeah, get yeah, like a sharp. So that's what I wanted to just get a sharpie and just like write a letter on it, and I, I'll know like Raspberry like yeah, I guess. Yeah. pass or something because it's small. You can't fucking write on there. <laughs> right. Um. But yeah. No, I'm just saying like a, a colored marker though. Then if you know like oh this one's silver, like I know what color silver is. You know. Yeah. Oh yeah, that works too. I guess. Like colored markers. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just start hieroglyphics i'll write like a triangle I'm like oh okay. yeah yeah <laughs> or um, maybe they make holders that you can like label so then you just put it back in the holder when you're done and then it's in the slot that's labeled whatever yeah you know what i mean they don't worry about labeling the card you just put it maybe you have it to back put it back in the holder slot. and if you don't then you're kind of screwed yeah <laughs> but <laughs> i don't know yeah fair enough oh um, interesting yeah, I mean that's kind of all I got. Oh, uh, this was kind of old, but I just remembered Scalebound. Yeah, didn't we talk about that? I don't think we did. We said it got canceled. Yeah, we? man, Scalebound got canceled. I'm it's pretty sure of... we talked about this on the show. Did we? I think so. It was part of uh, old notes here. Oh, uh, I think we talked about it. All right. Well, then that's it. <laughs> 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 no mm-hmm. no updates on Scalebound, sad. Well, the thing that drove me insane is that they just completely removed all the YouTube videos, but uh whatever. We already talked about it. Um yeah. So yeah, that's it. We're good. You guys good? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Mm, I had a little drink. Yes. Uh, I'm really good. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I'm dying for a slice of pizza on. Hey, went for breakfast. It was great. Oh, uh, you're an asshole. Mm-hmm. I like pizza. It's good. Oh man, you gotta try you know what I had? in this one plate. Oh no, but you're a pure, you're a purist. He's this a purist. Is, this is He's a, a house not, pizza. I'm not this a is house purist. special, man. Oh. You're a purist. Not what a... do you like on your pizza? And cheese. Exactly. Yeah. That's it. Game this over. shit had like, that's everything, it. bro. Yeah, no, that's not a good pizza. Oh, uh, it was the it was it's the impossible. best. The best. The best. You know, what I had yesterday for the first time though. You guys may have had this before. What is um chicken musubi? Have you had that before? Fuck is a Mitsubishi. Right, so I didn't know either. That was a Mitsubishi, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's basically like, I don't know how it happened. Somehow, like, Japan and Hawaii, like, clashed and made this dish. So, basically, it's rice it's like and sushi? chicken, like barbecue chicken, Hawaiian mm-hmm. barbecue chicken, wrapped in seaweed. So, it's like sushi, but instead of fish, it's like actually, it's like chicken. In chicken. There. But it's like a fat piece of chicken, like... It'd be... Um, oh, I see it. Uh, yeah, you see it? That's crazy. Uh, I had it yesterday. It was good, though. It was good. Oh, God. Somebody made a Hello Kitty fucking rice... Ah, uh, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it was good. First time? Yeah, first time I had it, it was good. Yeah. Nice. Would would eat again. Would eat again. Would eat again. Yeah. yeah. The, the one I had, though, it had rice on bottom, chicken on top, and then they just kind of wrapped it. Yeah, that's looking what I at, just saw on... Right, that's kind of like the standard, but looking at, you know, Google Images, they wrap some it people rice. put... You know, the rice is always there. But yeah, some some people put the chicken in between, in the middle. Yeah. Or the meat or the spam. Spam is mm-hmm. the most common, obviously, Hawaii. It's Hawaiian. Yeah. So, but you can order chicken and other types of, of meat if you want. <laughs> so, 
but I, I would be interested in trying like with the meat in the center you need a uh, you need a food podcast because that way you'll not hate on anything. I don't know. Because you hate everything. on everything. That's no, I, re- I love everything. No. Already. Uh huh. Mm. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks guys for listening. You can find us on Twitter. I'm at True Oz. That's at J Spin. Uh, and Juan is at Ace Jam with a three and an underscore in between. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hit us up I on there. Try. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There you go. Uh, and that's it. Yeah. Play two drool. Peace.